Greetings, everybody. I'm Andrew Feldman. <clears throat> I'm founder and CEO of Cerebra Systems. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, in late 2015, this is what the AI landscape looked like when uh, my co-founders and I were uh, together thinking about what we should uh, do. Uh, since then, it's changed a little bit. This is the AI landscape right now. Uh, and with any luck, and with any luck, that is that is us. Um, just for those of you who love to surf, this is the the break at Nazaré in Portugal. AI over the past four or five years has uh, become the most important workload of our generation. It's proliferating across industries and applications. It's growing at prodigious rates sort of a, a doubling every three and a half months, vastly exceeding Moore's law. I found this uh, poster at a bus stop in Palo Alto recommending your third graders uh, uh, begin uh, after school machine learning classes and it, it reminds you that adults are, are welcome. Uh, we have grown a little bit since uh, we, we started the company and uh, late 2015. Today we are 250 people. We have offices in San Diego, Silicon Valley, and Toronto. We've raised more than $400 million backed by the industry's leading investors. We now have customers around the world. And uh, for those of you who are exceptional engineers and looking for work, uh, we have a yawning demand for world-class engineering talent. Our mission is to change compute and to, to do that by building a deep learning system that delivers more performance than up to a thousand graphics processing units. While we're doing that, we deliver compute at a tiny fraction of the power and the space per unit compute. And we do that while supporting all major deep learning frameworks without changes to software. The first step in that path was to solve an open problem in the industry, a problem that had not been solved for 70 years, the entire history of compute, which was to build a very large chip. This is my co-founder, Sean, holding our wafer scale engine. This is a 46,000 square millimeter chip. It's 1.2 trillion transistors and 400,000 AI optimized cores. This is a comparison between uh, our wafer scale engine and the largest graphics processing unit available at market. Uh, it has 54 uh, billion transistors. It is 826 millimeters square. And for those of you who, who grew up outside of the metric system, that's about the size of a postage stamp. Uh, the Cerebrus wafer scale engine is 1.2 trillion transistors and more than 46,000 square millimeters of silicon, or roughly the size of a, a large dinner plate. On every important vector that underpins performance, the wafer scale engine uh, dwarfs the, uh, the competitive landscape. Uh, we are 56 times larger. We have 54 times more cores and 450 times more on-chip high-performance memory, nearly 6,000 times more memory bandwidth and more than 20,000 times more fabric bandwidth. It is our view that you can't build a, a Ferrari engine like the wafer scale engine and put it in a Volkswagen and expect to get race car performance. So we built the entire system, and this is the uh, Cerebra CS1. It is 15 rack units tall, so that's about 26 inches tall, fits in a standard rack, uh, and is the, uh, the solution unit that we sell. No matter how fast your, your race car, no matter how fast the, the performance of your, of your system, if it's not easy to use, quick to deploy, you're gonna struggle. And so it was extremely important to us at, at Cerebrus that you be able to deploy your existing AI models using your standard ML frameworks and existing workflows without modification. 
So the user writes an ML model in a standard open source framework using their existing tools and flows, and that's it. How does that happen? Well, the Cerebrus Graph compiler handles the mapping of the uh, neural network starting in TensorFlow to the uh, computational elements inside the, the CS1 on the wafer scale engine. It goes through a set of steps, uh, but put simply, it, it takes the, uh, the neural network, uh, it understands the calculations uh, that are uh, prescribed in that model, it allocates compute resources uh, on, the, on the wafer, laying out the entire neural network onto the wafer. It then does all layer work simultaneously in a pipeline. So, uh, uh, to put simply, the, the value we bring to our customers is that we reduce training time from months to minutes, from weeks to seconds. And that is crucial. That allows you and your, your data scientists to test thousands of new hypotheses, different ideas, model variants in the same period. We also, once you've settled on a model, reduce the latency and in inference, not by a little bit, but by a lot. Here, latency shrinks from milliseconds to microseconds. One of the areas we are, are most excited about is our ability to explore networks that are not possible on graphics processing units. These are very large deep networks. These are extraordinarily sparse networks. These are wide, shallow networks. All of these present fundamental problems to the computation in a graphics processing unit. All of these are, are made simple in the Cerebrus CS1. And finally, uh, we bring to customers uh, a, a system that allows you to pour vastly more data per unit time for your training sets. And of course, more data improves results. Uh, here's a little bit uh, of our uh, press about some of our wins and some of the uh, things customers are, are saying about our, our product. Um, initial deployments were in some of the most challenging computational environments in the world. And these are deployed inside of supercomputers. And uh, one, of the, one of the places is at Argonne National Labs. And their, uh, their leader said, we are doing in a few months what would normally have taken a drug development process years to do. And that's with, with our system. Yesterday, uh, we announced uh, another win in addition to the wins here, in which our, our system was uh, integrated into uh, the supercomputer at, at Lawrence Livermore Labs. But these are just a, a few of the uh, sort of most challenging applications in the largest compute domains. We have customers uh, around the world in a, a variety of different industries, um, from pharmaceuticals to heavy manufacturing, to oil and gas, to um, advertising, uh, soup to nuts. So I'd like to, that's a little bit about us. I'd like to thank you uh, for listening to our, our talk today. Uh, I will exit presentation mode. Um, and uh, let's see if uh, I have a minute or two for, for any questions that you might have via the chat line. Left just a couple minutes uh, for chat questions. Any thoughts or questions that I might be able to answer?
Greetings, Joseph. Thank you uh, for asking the question. Th these are not cheap systems. They're designed to replace uh, somewhere between hundreds and thousands of GPUs, depending on your work. So this is a, a several million dollar machine. Other, other thoughts or questions? All right, folks, if, if there aren't any more questions, uh, I, uh, I'm going to give you one minute and six seconds back into your day and say that I very much appreciate you taking some time today to, uh, to listen, learn a little bit about, about Cerebra Systems. Um, if there's anything uh, I can do to answer questions now or later, you can reach me directly. I'm just Andrew at Cerebrus.net. I'm happy to answer any questions uh, you might have at that time. Um, energy consumption uh, is, Joseph, thank you for, for asking. Energy consumption is a fraction of uh, what it would take to power that amount of, of compute uh, in graphics processing units. Um, but it's still a, a meaningful block because it's a, a big, powerful machine. A single system takes order 20 kilowatts. So 230 amp whips should be just fine. They're telling me that I now have one